Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Asian Report for the 22nd of April and with the ASX on the daily chart here. We've been looking for an A and a B and a C wave up. Uh, was looking higher up into the 50-60% retracement level but um, it's struggling to get up there and also global markets that um, have been leading to the upside like the NASDAQ uh, and the S&P, they're also rolling over as well. So we would need to look at this particular pattern uh, here um, as uh, corrective and we would be looking for a move down as wave one and back for wave two and three and four and five here. That would be the logical thing to do, but we always need to go step by step. So we need to count the first five waves down and we are currently short at the moment. Um, we'll also get short too once this first five waves finishes here, then we will look for uh, an ABC, once we've got that confirmed as a three wave structure, then we'll also look to be shorting into this wave three if that's going to be the case. We have to be careful that um, the trick here is that um, we didn't reach our target. So it may be possible that this situation has an ABC like this here. And we, from this low here to this high here, we will look at this 50-60% retracement level in here roughly and so this all could just be some B wave coming down to here and then we have a C wave moving to the upside here. That's the thing that we have to move through because we didn't reach our target here. So that's, that's possible um, at this stage um, but otherwise we need to um, put this and leave that there just to remind us but that this is this is that's where the 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 problem is here so the more that we see the 5000 as the resistance the better um, especially on the second time we just have to work through it I, I just don't have any answers for it but um, better to be um, you know once we're on the sh locked under here the better we'll go and have a look <laughs> so so as it stands so far, we need to look at this as an A and a B and a C wave here for the A wave and an A and a B and a C for the B wave here and then one and two and three and four and five here finishing off here. And then we're looking down into this <clears throat> first space here, the 50-60% retracement level here and then back up in three waves as an A, B, C and then down again from that point. So we need to, um, yeah, we need to work through this. Currently, we can count this down here as five waves here, <clears throat> but um, it also could be counted slightly differently as well. So that's what I want to have a bit of a look at today. So if I go to the hourly chart here, <clears throat> this is one way to count it down and that would make it at this low here. We'll put wave one first and then uh, possibly the B wave there as well and this copy this here would be wave two here but I don't know that yet you know that's what we need to work through <clears throat> in this case down here it's possible to count this down as one and two here and three here and four here and then five waves down here for five waves so one two three four and five it's possible to do that so that's on my mind a little bit um the other point here is that it can be counted like this too which I kind of like better with wave one here and two here then wave one and two here and then the third of the third in here because this is really quite long here it's okay to have a long wave as a fifth wave as one two three four five but it's more common to see this particular structure here with wave three being the third the third of the third wave here being the longest and the strongest. So if that's the case here, we'll see a little rally uh, here off these lows here, coming back into this fourth wave here, and then the fifth wave down, and then the fourth wave coming back, and then the fifth wave down here, then the A, the B, and the C wave moving back up here, and then that that's this is what I'm thinking anyway, you know. Um, and if we get this structure here, Right. If we get this large five wave structure here, then we're going to get another one over here. So this is the one that we really want over here. 
so we can start to look to go to short through this way here and so on because if we get five here that means we're going to get another five over here so we should be able to start selling in this space up here all the way down through here and have a have a longer and stronger wave than this one here wave three coming down here will be this length here plus another 50 60 percent so that's sort of where we are really um so there are questions about um, you know the the trade. Um, if you're short up here, then we would want to once you get down into this space down here on the five thousand, then you'd want to take a decent percentage of profit down there, if not all of it down at the five thousand today. Um, that means that you do need to, we do need to wait quite a while until all this you know, this unfolds through here. So that's going to take, you know, two or three days to, um, to to get through that far. So let's just see how we go. On the, you may have other short positions in here as well, based on the 15 minute chart here for shorter term traders here. We're talking about scaling in in different ways. So from the top here, we were looking down at one and two, being short here, we had a stop here, you can bring the stop here. We were looking at once the 300 found the resistance to get a short position and also to take some profit down here as well. And then also once the 200 found resistance would take, um, take uh, a short trade as well. Um, but I think also too, um, I had that in before, but I've put this one in here now. So I think that it's, you know, if you've, if you've if you've got two if you've got three trades in, then any move to the upside is going to you know take profits twice as quick. Uh, so it's probably be a good idea to um, to you know start lightening the load into the into this area through here and onto the five thousand here as well for this here. So obviously the cash market will open and drag this down into the five thousand. So think about it, it a little bit uh, in in here. In this case here we can count one, two, three, four, and five, and that's how we we're originally counting it. It's just that this one's so long here uh, compared to the other two, which is fine. I mean, one of these waves, either one, three, or five, is going to have the extension in it, leaving the other two waves roughly the same size. So this is quite valid here, and the market could move, you know, continue to move up from here. Um, obviously, that stocks will open lower, and it should drag this down here. Um, so I think that the other count is is, um, is is what we're sort of looking at here. But somehow you need to, you know, figure out how you're going to, you know, manage this situation here. I think it's probably best if the market is going to move down into the 4900 area here is to, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but take all the money off the table down here somewhere and then we can just relax and then we can spend our time, you know, don't worry about trading it back up because it can just be a bit stressful. You know, then you lose sight of, of this next move down. And then this is the one that we need to um, really focus on a lot. So you don't want to be unorganized in this, you know, making, <clears throat> making small profits and small losses in this corrective rally here um, and, and, and not be ready for this move to come down through here further. It may not come down here further, but we need to be, you know, we need to be know all the right places to move into it, and that's what we will do. Okay, moving on a little bit. So I'm going to I'm going to go over to China because um, with China here, as you know, I'll keep going over it. We've had it as an A and a B and a C wave here, and that means that um, the market can move continue to move up yes we will get a reaction from the 13,000 the major level here and it can drop back 50 or 60 percent and then move up and create a new high here and if that's the case we go along from that point um, but otherwise we're looking to come down from this point here in terms of wave one here wave two here and then wave one of a smaller degree and then wave two here which would be the a wave the b wave here then one two three four and five here so on the hourly chart here not that we trade this at all, really. It's just that we use it for Hong Kong. Um, and in this case here, 
uh, we were looking at two counts to the upside, but because it's dropped down, we need to look at this as one and two here, and three and four and five here, then down for one here, back for two here. Then we've got one, two, three, four, and five. He's got a third wave here, so we'll get see if we get a fourth and a fifth. If we get this fourth, fifth here, then we'll have five waves down from the top here, and that means that we'll have an ABC pattern here, and then we're going to be going down again, and we can just draw a line across here and so on, or sell at this point here. But this is good for uh, Hong Kong here at the mo at, at, this, at this stage, so we'll just we'll keep an eye. We'll continue to keep an eye on this, of course. And in this case here, if you're short, just stay short on this one here, um, because <clears throat> it's not a big deal in here. We want to just we we'll want to sell this next top here for this. So let's just see how this all all plays out within here. I mean, if I was wrong here, then this here is an A wave, a B wave here, then one, two, three, four, five for the C wave here, and we go up from that point. I mean, that's the reality here. So until I get these five waves down through here, then we can't really confirm that we're on the right path here. Um, so let's move on to Hong Kong. <clears throat> so with Hong Kong here, with much the same view here, we looking from the top here as one and two here, then one and two here, and you can see one, two, three, four, five here from the third wave. We still need the fourth wave and the fifth wave to make the third wave and the fourth wave here and the fifth wave here. This could all be a bit time consuming and we can expect to bounce off this level down here. So in this case here, we could look to take profit or part profit or something on the 2300 area through here. <clears throat> Because once this is completed here, then we'll be looking for an A and a B and a C wave back up, and then we'll probably be heading down again as well, once we've got those five waves. So we just need to, everything needs to fall into place first with this. So if you're wanting to catch this down here, then, you know, take at least, you know, 50% to 80% in this space here, if not more, do whatever you need to do. Well, everybody's different. So, um, but it, like I say, if we get these five waves down here, then that sets up a really good case for getting a corrective move back up 50 or 60% and then down again through here. So, um, yeah, look to take percentage here or take profit on this level down here. I mean, it's easy to say, get in here, get out here and, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, it also, it can be easy and it can be, can be quite difficult, you know, especially if you over trade, which most people do, then that makes it m more difficult um, for you as a trader. So <clears throat> less is more. So I'm just going to leave the stop. We can bring the stop down. Let's do that. Let's bring it down to hmm. depending if you're holding all the way through. We'll leave it just up here for the time being. And basically you're managing your exposure by taking profits uh, in all of this rather than bringing the stop down. So you've, you're taking control of it uh, in, in a better way. Okay, over to India for the Nifty. And for the Nifty as well, we counting, well, we look in the bigger picture of the A, the B, and the C wave up through here. And once again here, I mean, I haven't seen the 9,000 here being rejected yet. Yes, we're counting it down as impulsive and all the rest of it, but until, um, you know, let's just... just look at some of the patterns here so this is the overshoot pattern so it wasn't that pattern so we're looking at uh, this particular pattern here or we're looking at this particular pattern here for this for for these markets so we really what we're trying to what we're trying to figure out here is we want the retest of the 9000 rejected and then we move down so what we're looking for at the moment is the first 
five wave structure to the downside here, which is this one here. So what we're looking for here with this is that, yes, it may be, it may be come further down. Yes, there will be support on the 8,000 here, but, and it may just do it from here as well, but we're looking for that retest here. And if we can get that in three waves, then we can just draw a line through here and also look to short here as well. <clears throat> so it's probably down for one, two and three here. And we've still got four and five to go down. Um, but in a nutshell, we want to see this, see how this one's come down here and then it's moved back up to retest it. So the retest it hadn't failed here. So if I was going to go short on, I would have it here first. And then if that one moved down here and went back up, then I'd have it under here. And then if it moved down, it would be on the right side at the right time. And this, it's simple, but it keeps you safe. Because all of this across this level here just may be corrective and we can just go, you know, we can go up from this point. We don't know that yet. So we're taking, we, we took a risk in all of this here because, um, well, we just took a small risk here based on all we had here was the possibility of wave C being finished. So we took a small position. We didn't have the confirmation of the first five waves down. So we're aware of that. So what we can do here is take a bit, we're looking to take a percentage profit at the 9,000, which would uh, save us moving the stop per se down. So, because what we need to get through here is we need to take the top here, wherever that low is here, then that's the 61.8% here. So we, we need to keep the stop above that. If I, I wanna kind of keep this in, in, in play here. Um, and I want to keep adding to it on the, on the top if we, you know, if we move down from that point, so. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in and thanks for the support. Cheers.